so we have built um, an Alexa custom skill, um, and both Jesse and I are big fans of apps that give you uh, daily digest of things, like um, news headlines and things like that. So we wanted to build an app that did that for stargazers. Um, so Alexa gives you a quick report on um, the weather conditions for the night, uh, cloud coverage, any um, star or planetary activity uh, that's happening, um, and also how close the International Space Station is to you um, that night. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the demo for Alexa, um, but we also built uh, an iOS and Android app to go with it, so while she is talking, uh, Jesse's gonna show you that. Uh, and just to say, we uh, this was supposed to pertain to the the phases of the moon challenge, um, trying to like inspire kids to learn about phases of the moon. But we thought, why limit it to kids, and why only look at the moon? Why not look at you know everything that's in the sky? So. All right, ready? Turn it up. Uh, okay, I think she's on. Alexa, launch Stargazer. Weather report: 60 degrees with 75 percent cloud coverage. The sun will set at 7.45 p.m. Moon report. The moon is half illuminated tonight. Planet report. In the evening, Mercury in the west, Jupiter in the southeast. In the early morning, Mars in the southwest, Saturn in the south, Neptune in the east, Venus in the east. ISS report. The International Space Station is 7,365 kilometers from your location. You're in luck. Keep an eye out. <laughs> asteroid report. Asteroid 2016 GD1 is the closest asteroid to Earth today. It is 21,109,450 miles away. So, so really it might be visible. <laughs> Bonus report. Comma 252P slash linear has undergone an Alexa, unexpected stop. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll go through the rest of this stuff. Um, yeah, so we, we tried to build for as many platforms as we possibly could. Uh, we have <laughs> these three, web, iOS, Android, uh, Amazon Echo, and actually, uh, if you sign up, which I'll show you in a second, you can get, can you guys see that? You can get Twilio uh, text reports. I have it set to send to me once an hour right now, but the idea would be to do it like nightly. So if you want to know if you should go out, use your telescope that night, you, you get a text at 6 p.m. and you'll know for sure. Um, just a quick look at how we did this. So we found a bunch of APIs to aggregate as much information as we could. Uh, you heard pretty much all of it. Hello? Uh, I can just yell. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we tried to aggregate as much information as possible. Uh, we used everything on the left, uh, aggregated it, like formatted it into strings. Uh, we also have all the information as a publicly available API, uh, all hosted on Azure. So if you guys want the information, feel free. Um, so we put it in Azure, and then, yeah, you know, Amazon can hit it, iOS can hit it, anyone can hit it. Uh, and on the website, sorry, this one, you actually can enter your number. This is not my number. <laughs> I don't call this poor soul. <laughs> and that just sent me a text with that number, so I can edit to the back end and send you the daily reports if you want that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I was just going to add that um, Jesse built the iOS app last night with React Native, um, and that it's also the Android app as well. Uh, and then it took him like 25 minutes to transfer that to the, um, the web app, which is pretty cool, with just regular React. Yeah, for so. any front end nerds, it was really cool to uh, have like all three of these be done kind of at the same time. So uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Cool. That's it. I guess this is more for the panelists. Um, I think it's great to have some kind of system where you can get a news report, s s such as they showed. But do you know if that's something that you know in the coming years or decade or so like, <laughs> that NASA would have for their their astronauts being on the spaceship? If, if maybe if it's a security issue, maybe just for civilians can like have a radio station where they can kind of feed. Yeah. The There's a NASA TV. Right. Yeah. I mean, NASA TV does like 
NASA TV does live streaming from the International Space Station. Is that the kind of issue? Well, it's more like Earth to space rather than Like anybody contacting the International Space Station? That might be a little too much, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there are ways, obviously, to contact them. I'm not sure. Like, you're talking about Earth to space station right. messages, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Such, like, have a radio station where they can listen in to Earth feeds and stuff. I'm sure they have it through NASA. I don't know about, like, publicly operated ones. I don't, I don't know about that. I had a quick question. Sure. Um, the information that you're presenting, is that location specific and what kind of uh, uh, reach do you have for that? Oh, absolutely. Sure, yeah, so oh, thank, you. Um, thank you. It all easily can be location specific. We hard coded uh, this latitude and longitude, but I mean, obviously, you, can, you know, do location based searching from a uh, browser, iOS, or Android. Um, Echo was a little tough, but uh, maybe there's a way to do it. Um, yeah, so it, it can be, this isn't specifically. Oh, and on the information itself, um, so like four of them are specific to your latitude and longitude, and one of them is just if you're in, I think, the northern hemisphere, then it pertains to you. So uh, most of it is yeah, specific to your information. Thank you. Yep. Thank you guys, very cool.